Hey, it's Dr. Joseph with Vail 7 Orthopedics. I want to talk about a pretty common thing that I see in clinic today. Well, not today, but, but most weeks uh, that's sort of poorly defined. Um, it's basically uh, synovitis. And what synovitis means is it means inflammation of the synovium. And synovium is basically the lining of all joints. So let's take the wrist. So commonly patients will come in and say, you know, I've got wrist pain, but I had no injury and I'm not really changing my activities. Maybe I'm doing a little more repetitive stuff. So let's take I'm painting a room in my house or something more repetitive. And now my wrist is just hurting because of that. And it tends to be right at the wrist itself. Uh, so the lining of the wrist or the synovium can get inflamed and it can be inflamed for lots of reasons. It can be inflamed from overuse. It can sometimes be inflamed just out of nowhere. It can be inflamed uh, from an injury, an old injury, and it can be inflamed from arthritis. So those are the most common buckets for the inflammation. But in general, if we have a patient that has just sort of a slow onset of wrist pain, then of course we take an x-ray and hopefully prove they don't have arthritis. And with no injury, then that's typically what it is, is synovitis. Um, the last part of synovitis that, that commonly comes with synovitis is called impingement. And so if patients say, yeah, you know, when I do push-ups, when my wrist is like this and I load it, it hurts and it pinches. And so you can picture this inflamed lining, this inflamed synovium that gets impinged or pinched back there. And so depending on their job and depending on what they've got to carry, we'll see it sometimes in, in servers, uh, they'll pinch that and it'll become more and more inflamed, more and more thickened, and then off to the race as it goes. Um, if they've already tried bracing, icing, anti-inflammatories, that's the first line of treatment with or without therapy, and it hasn't gone away, then we're really quick to offer a small injection. It's not even super painful because it's right, it's right on the back of the wrist. We put a little splash of cortisone, which is just a potent liquid anti-inflammatory, and it'll typically break the cycle. And so I'll have patients that'll have an annoying, painful wrist out of nowhere for months and months and months, and we'll do a quick little injection, and two days later, they're pain-free. And as long as they don't have significant arthritis, it can break the cycle and it can, quote, fix the problem. Now, conversely, if you have synovitis in any joint, but we're on the wrist, if you have synovitis there because of arthritis, because the surfaces are damaged, then yes, it's true. You could do an injection there and it may last six months or a year, but sometimes that can come back as arthritis typically will create a secondary inflammatory process, a secondary synovitis. That's what's symptomatic. That's what hurts. So for synovitis, that's the treatment of it. And I'm really quick to offer it because a lot of patients uh, tell me that, wow, I've been dealing with this forever and it's gone on a Tuesday because you did the shot yesterday. And so sometimes that can last for years and years. So if you've got some insidious uh, wrist pain that doesn't have an injury, then it's usually gonna be a tendonitis or a synovitis. And sometimes a small little cortisone injection can be a true game changer. So if you think that's what's going on with you, come see me, Dr. Joseph at Bale Summit Orthopedics.